हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स नाउ सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम गेट 2010 एग्जाम इट्स फॉर वन मार्क एक्चुअली वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन वन सिमिलर क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रिफ्रेशिंग डी रैम चिप्स मे बी इट वाज फ्रॉम 2018 एग्जाम आई डोंट एग्जैक्टली रिमेंबर द ईयर बट आई एल सर्टनली लिंक इट इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ओके लेट मी रीड द स्टेटमेंट फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन The main memory unit with a capacity of 4 megabytes is built using 1M cross 1 bit DRAM chips. Each DRAM chip has 1K rows of cells with 1K cells in each row. The time taken for single refresh operation is 100 nanoseconds. The time required to perform one refresh operation on all the cells in the memory unit is then they have given you four options. ओके सो लेट्स सॉल्व दिस वन सो एक्चुअली इफ यू आर ओनली कंसर्न अबाउट द आंसर इट्स अ रियली सिंपल क्वेश्चन यू डोंट इवन नीड दिस इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर फाइंडिंग आउट आंसर लेट मी शो यू वॉट आई एम सेइंग यू माइट नो दैट वी रिफ्रेश डी रैम चिप्स रो बाय रो ओके दैट्स द ओनली थिंग दैट यू नीड टू नो फॉर सॉल्विंग दिस क्वेश्चन नाउ देर आर वन के रोज इन ईच डी रैम चिप also one refresh operation takes 100 nanoseconds that means if we refresh dram chips row by row then we need to spend 100 nanoseconds 1k times so the answer to this question will be 1k multiplied by 100 nanoseconds maybe it's b part but we are not very concerned about its answer we need to understand this concept like what are these notations how come we get 4 mb using these chips and how are they placed and so on okay let's go into a bit detail so you see total main memory is 4 mb 4 megabytes and one dram chip is 1m cross 1 bit now let's understand this notation 1m cross 1 bit means we have 1 m locations and size of each location is 1 bit see in dram chip there will be multiple locations where you can store data each of these locations will be having a unique address so in this dram chip we have 1 million unique addresses where we can store data and size of each location is 1 bit that means every bit in this dram chip has a unique address okay now these locations are grouped into something called rows okay so i hope these dots are visible anyways i have placed these small dots within rows to indicate cells memory cells so these locations or memory cells are grouped to form one row why are we forming rows because we want to refresh multiple cells at same time now you might ask what is refreshing dram chips that is dynamic ram chips they are made out of capacitors and capacitors lose uh, lose charge over time say you have charged some capacitor after certain amount of time it will lose the entire charge hence the entire information saved in the dram chip will be lost if it is not refreshed so for purpose of refreshing we place these locations into rows they are saying we have 1k rows and each row has 1k cells so how many total cells will be there 1k into 1k that's this 1m that means 1m cells are divided into 1k rows where each row has 1k cells so there are 1k locations per row in a dram chip now this is 4 mb and this is 1 m byte let's find out how many dram chips how many such chips will be required to get 4 mb of memory so this is 4 mb divided by 1 m bit okay 1 m into 1 bit you can just solve it this comes out to be 8 into 4 which is 32 just convert this byte into bit you will get 32 that means 32 such chips will be required now i have already told you the answer 
that it is 1k into 100 nanoseconds some of you might get a doubt if we have 32 chips why are not we multiplying this i told you that answer is 1k multiplied by 100 nanoseconds some of you might argue why are we not multiplying it by 32 because we have 32 chips answer to this question is each of these chips are individual separate circuits any data sorry any circuit that is required for refreshing a chip is there within this chip so each and every chip can be refreshed individually that means all of these 32 chips are refreshed in parallel okay the only thing that you need to take care is these rows sorry these chips are refreshed row by row say at cert, at some time you are refreshing this ninth row that means ninth row of every chip is being refreshed at the same time okay so on you go till 1k 1k rows are to be refreshed now uh, about this placement of chips that how are we going to place these 32 chips we cannot say anything because they haven't given you whether this memory is byte addressable or like you cannot just conclude that this 4 mb means 4 m locations each of one byte that cannot be concluded so placement of chips is really not known here but you can just see one case in this case you will be having eight chips uh, to this side and four chips to this side that means so this kind of matrix of chips will be formed for getting 4m locations each of one byte you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 eight chips are combined to to this side i am actually very reluctant to use the word row here so that's why i am not able to express myself because i am not using the word four rows of eight columns and so on because rows are already used here you just understand this is a matrix where eight chips are there to this side and four chips are there this side okay